everybody it's your girl Yvonne I'm coming to you today with something a little different um as you know it's that time of year where everybody's getting ready for their 2021 planners um I'm actually using several planners next year so I'm going to be showing you every week a different planner um the reason I'm doing it that way is because I'm still waiting on one planner and I'm still waiting on some inserts for some other planners so I want to give you a detailed um to look through and review of the planners that I have individually. So the first one I'm going to show you is actually the Bookworm Life. I'm in two reading clubs. I really love reading. It's something that I love to do. So I wanted a way to track the books that I'm reading and to be able to like take notes and stuff because we have book club meetings where we discuss the books and stuff. So this is the Bookworm Life from uh, Peanut Butter Taco. She could be found on Etsy. Uh, this is this year's so you have a clear plastic cover this year was purple I think last year was like a teal or a turquoise cover when you open the book you have the bookworm life I used a sticker from a Etsy shop I think it was Coco Michelle one of her sticker kits I think it was of a girl just relaxing fab ladybug is the name of um, my main um, book club that I'm in. I've been in that one for years. I love the the um, person um, who runs that group. And if you're interested in joining, it's Fab Ladybug on across all social media outlets. So you can look into that. So you also have the bookshelf. I went ahead and set this planner up. So what you'll be seeing is already set up. So I took, I ordered some stickers from uh, peanut butter taco which I'll be showing you as well so I just put labels up here book red I colored in the plants and I have a key at the bottom that shows um, how I'll be coloring the books in I'm not going to color in like each individual title I'm going to basic based on what type of book so any of my book club books is going to be this tangerine color any books that I read that are faith based is going to be this purplish pink color any like random books I'm reading is going to be this greenish cut turquoise. A uh, classics is going to be this greenish yellow color, and any book series is going to be in purple. And you'll see why in a little while. But you get two pages for that. Uh, then you get a, a couple of uh, blank pages. So I turned this into a visual bookshelf. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is actually taking a picture. So I have this. Um, it's called the Life Print um, Photo Printer. And it's a video printer. Apparently, you can print videos. I don't know. But I'm going to be using this to take pictures of the um, front of the books, the book covers. And I'll be putting it in here just so I have like a visual of the book covers. And I get that idea from the person who um, heads the Fab Lady Book Club when we go to the meetings every month. Well, before COVID. And we had to do them by Zoom. But... Um, when we used to actually physically go to the meeting, she would always give us a copy of the actual copy of the book cover every month. And I thought that was like really cool for like a keepsake. Uh, so I got three pages for that. Um, the stickers that I used for this actually came out of the um, Happy Planner Bookish Sticker Book. So the letters, the washi stick and the strip. Uh, this bookshelf washi came from a shop on Etsy. I can't think of the name right now. I'm sorry. Um, then I have a series tracker. I want to read, you'll see in a minute, but I'll keep a track of certain series that I want to read. So these are four of them. I have more, um, but what I did, I just wrote the author. I wrote the different series and how many books is in that series. So as I read the series and complete them, I just wipe the, I just highlight them or something like that. Uh, these is the most anticipated book release. This page was already headed this way. However, I didn't use it that way. What I did was I wrote down a lot of um, authors that I want to read and how many books that they have. This is a goal setting page. These are my goals for 2021. I want to read 100 books. I want to read and attend all book club events since I am in two book clubs. That's going to be uh, maybe a little challenging, but so far... Um, they've been doing everything on like alternate days. So hopefully that keeps up. 
I want to read six complete series for the year. I want to read 12 faith-based faith based books and that's not like novels i want to actually read like faith books so that's like one a month i don't think that's something too hard to do i want to read 12 classics and i want to finish four of my challenges and i'll show you my challenges in a minute so then you get into the months i went ahead it came is a dateless planner i went ahead and added tabs that i got from avery and i got the oh where i got this um name decal from was kell of a plan she's a youtuber um who does this lettering i have she has sticker books and everything like you need to go to her etsy shop it's kell of a plan k-e-l-l -L of a plan it's really cool but i used her sticker book and just took the month stickers unfortunately some of the months kind of blend in but that's fine for me i can see them so in the front you have like a January, like a monthly kind of notepad. So in this, what I'm going to do is at the beginning of the month, I'm going to write whatever the book club book is for the month, whatever faith based book I'm going to read for the month, um, whatever monthly challenge because I have challenges at the back of the book. So whatever the monthly challenge is, whatever the classic challenge is, whatever classic book I'm reading, and whatever author I'm reading for the series. I'm going to put there. So I, that's that's a way that I'm going to kind of complete my goals is to each month assign something toward each goal. Then you have on the tab, you have a um, decoration or a quote. This one says books are my happy place, which they really are. It's nothing like. Um, and then you have just a blank two page monthly spread. I went ahead and like I said, started setting things up. So I put the month in there. I'll put date stickers in there when they get closer um, next month. So I'll put the next like next month's book for my book club, any events for next month, anything. I'll just write them here really quick. Uh, how many pages I read throughout the book. You'll see how I keep count of that. And I just put a little sticker for decoration because this book has like the stack of books like this on every page, on um, every monthly page. And I was just like, that's boring. So I just kind of added my own little twist or something. Um, you can get this planner in either a weekly or a monthly. I got the monthly, so I only have one page of a weekly. If you get it on a weekly, you get five pages like this. Um, I'm just going to do a quick review every month, so I don't need a whole weekly. I have my own personal planners. So what I'll do is I'll write... How many audio books, how many physical books, how many Kindle books or um, electronic books. I'll kind of write um, the best cover of the month, the most inspiring, the one that broke my heart, the most challenging for me to get through, the one I would recommend and the most surprising book there. Um, anything else toward the books I write there. My book club notes I'll take here on this page, which was a blank um, note page, but I went ahead and just headed it as book club notes. This is just an extra page. So what I'll probably do is use one page for my Fab Lady Book Club and the other page for my second book club, which is Carl, which is based strictly on Carl Weber, which is an author. I love him. I love his books. I've been reading him for years um, and I found a book club for him. So I was like, yes, I have to. So I'll be I'll go ahead and put his book notes here. Then you have a monthly wrap up. So you write the books, all the books you read. Uh, this said um, must acquired. So you would normally put uh, books acquired. So you would normally put the title author and where you got the book from. I'm not going to do that. So I put series. So what I'll do is whatever series I read that month, that month, I'll put them here and then just put how many books was in the series here. And then you go into the next month and it's a repeat. I'm not going to go through all of them because it's a repeat. Uh, when you get to June, which is halfway through the year, you'll get a goal check-in page. So it's like a mid-year check-in. So you get to put where you are as far as your goals that you made at the beginning of the year. You'll put the progress here. You'll put the number of books you've read so far, the number of pages you've read so far, which is why I'll calculate the pages at, on, at every month. The book I was most disappointed in within the first half of the year, the books I need to pick up soon. Um, if somebody recommended a book or I saw a book that I, I wanted to read 
in the top three books that I read so far. And then you'll go into the rest of the year. Now, at the end of the year, you have some additional pages. And I labeled that tab, that section as other. So you have the end of your goal assessment. So you get to see what your total goal. Did you meet your goals? What goals you didn't meet? You get to see that at the back. You get superlatives. I thought this was such a cute page. So at the beginning in January, you saw where at the end, I kind of had certain labels that I would put what books. That's where I got those from. So you would put those books there. Hung out the dry basically were books you didn't complete. You will put those here. I don't usually do that. I usually try to complete every book I start reading, even if I, if I even if I don't like it. I still try to complete it because some books you'll be surprised. You might not like it at the beginning, and then as you get into it, it kind of gets better. Um, so I don't usually have a bunch of those, but if I do, I'll just put it here. Standout books. I think it's like a total of ten standout books, which are the most um, books that were the best for you. Um, this I kind of filled out books on the big screen. So you have books that were turned into TV shows and books that were turned into movies. Um, a lot of these are movies that I've and TV shows that I've already seen or I may have not seen the entire series or, you know, saw some of these movies I did not see, but I will see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sit down and read the books and watch and watch the series afterwards same thing here i'm going to read the book and then i'm going to watch the movie afterwards and as i do that i'll go ahead and color in the ones that i did that with i know it's a lot of reading i know y'all like how she gonna do all that and then you get into another tab which is reviews so these are quotes so you can write quotes from different books that you read which i probably do i think that's a cool idea because some things in these books people say you'd be like oh what okay so you get like four one, two, three, four, six pages of quotes, and then you go into reviews. Um, my reviews is it correlates with my bookshelf. So book club, I know that I have twelve. I'm only I'm only doing my book club reviews for the fur for the Fab Lady book club. That's my main book club. So um, because we read different books from different genres, with the Carl Weber book club is specific to an author, so I'm not going to review those. Um, because I'm partial to that author. Um, so these, I went ahead and highlighted 12 uh, in the orange color, the tangerine color for my book club. And then the purple would be for the faith. So I went ahead and highlighted 12 of those for my faith. And then we have the blue, the um, blue, which is the series. I'm going to do those by series, not by book. I will um, do an overall review. So since my goal was, I think, uh, six series, since I ran out of room, I'll just do the other three on this page. And then we get into the tab where I labeled my challenges. So these were a bunch of note pages and I just turned them into my challenge, my challenge section. So the first challenge, um, Peanut Butter Taco has challenges in her, in her, um, shop and it's on Etsy and it's called Peanut Butter Taco. So one is a monthly challenge so what she does is every month she gives you a like a book um category to read out of so january is the first book recommended to you in 2020 uh february is a love story march is a book with green on the cover april is a book with a twist ending may is a book with a flower on the cover june is a book set in the summer July is an award winning. August is a choose a book randomly. September is a book set at school. October is a scary book. November is a book by an author you're thankful for. December is a book you can um, curl up with. So the thing about this is me doing this monthly challenge will kind of help me do my other goals because these are spe I'm going to specifically be looking for certain books, right? So that will help me with, like, for instance, the first book that was recommended to me will obviously be my book club book, right? Of course. Um, as I'm reading my series or my classics or whatever, that would be a love story, right? A book with a green cover, I would specifically look at my series or my whatever for a book with a green cover, you know? So it's kind of like, it kind of goes hand in hand. 
The second challenge that I'm going to be doing is the rainbow challenge. So with the rainbow challenge, every time you read a book that has the cover of one of these colors, you just fill in the name of the title. That's it. So I'm hoping um, that I'll be able to finish this next year. That'll be cool. And this is kind of random, so it's in no particular order. So I could actually, you know, depending on how many books, I could fill in multiple of these. Uh, for instance, in January, I could read five different books. I could fill in five of these if all my books have a different color. You know, so that's cool. The third one is Alphabet Challenge. So the Alphabet Challenge is every time you read a book that begins with these letters, and that does not include words like and, of, the, you know, those kind of words. Um, but anything, anytime you read a book that begins with any letter of the alphabet, you fill it in. So this is pretty much the same like the rainbow. It's random. It's in no particular order. So you just fill it out as you go. And then the... The other one is a general challenge, which again is random. You just fill it in as you go. So you read a book with the number in the title, read a book under 200 pages, you know, stuff like that. So as you do that, when you listen to an audio book, you fill that in, read a book by a celebrity, you know, stuff like that. So this one definitely would go with the October in the um, general challenge because it's read a book that scares you. And the one in that is read a scary book, read a thrill, you know, so. Um, I can use the same book per challenge, but I'm not going to use the same book within a challenge, if you understand. So if I have a book that um, can fit more than one of these categories, I won't use it for more than one of these categories, if you get my drift. And then I have my classic challenge. So I'm going to try to read all. I know I'm not going to finish all of these classes. That's just not feasible. Um, because a lot of classics have about 500 pages to them. So I'm not going to read all of these challenges, but I am going to randomly pick a pick a classic about probably every month to read. So the first one I'm going to read is The Secret Garden. The second one I'm probably going to read is To Kill a Market Board. And I'll just randomly pick one and just read it. And that pretty much concludes. I did say I'm going to do the Oprah Book Club. The reason why I want to do the Oprah Book Club as well is because Oprah doesn't do a book every month. Um, so that kind of, you know, it's not as strenuous or as, you know, month, 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 month. So whenever I see Oprah, um, discuss a book for a book club, I'll go ahead and just write it in here, keep a list of it, read it. You know, it's not going to be something that I, you know, I'm going to take notes on anything, but I'll just read it. If I find a quote I like, I'll put it in the quote page, stuff like that. But, you know, and then I have some extra note pages. These are some of the stickers that I have from her that I'm going to utilize in here. And I'm going to show you. These I did not get from her shop. These are going to use to date it. These are from Peep the Bow Creation. It's just a year's worth of dates. Um, but in the book club, we do celebrate each other's birthday. We acknowledge. Let me say that. So I'll just, um, when she give us the dates of people's birthdays, I just use these stickers to put them in here. So I remember to acknowledge people's birthdays. Um, these are the pages stickers on here. So I'll just every month I'll just write how many pages in total. These is what I'll use to mark my book club meetings. Uh, these I'll use these are just um, what what I use for the headers. Uh, these are stickers that say started and finished. So every time I read a every time I read a physical book, I will put when I started the book, what the book was, I'll put the date and what the name of the book. When I finish, I'll put the date and the name of the book and I'll just stick that sticker on that date. Or I don't really need to put the date because I'm sticking the sticker on that date, but I just put the title, probably the author, stick it on a date, call it a day. These are library books do stickers. This was one of the challenges. These are the challenges. These are just some general like quote stickers for me to just decorate a little. Uh, you know, tell how I like. These are the same as the physical books, but these are audio books. I just got into audio books and I'm doing more audio book reading, which is why I have so many pages to that, but it's the same concept. When I start a book, I just write it here, finish, put it there, and I just put it on the monthly. And these are the Kindle books for that. So this is concludes my walkthrough of my reading planner for next year. 
you guys will be seeing a probably a review of this um after the first uh, month of me using it and then i'll probably do another review of it probably around every quarter i don't think this is something you guys would want to see every month because it's like you know kind of just books i read you know um if you guys do want to see more about the books i've read uh go ahead and leave a comment below and i'll be happy to include that in my lineup of videos where we could every month go over the books that i've read and talk about them and i could give you my reviews on the books that i've read for the month um if not, then I'll just give you an update on how I'm using the planner after the quarter mark, after the mid-year mark, we could do the check-in together. And then at the end of the year, I'll give you a full review on how I use it, if I like it, if I'll be reusing it. Next week, we'll be looking at another one of my planners that I'm going to be using to help get my life in order in 2021. Because when I tell you this girl is going to do everything in abundance next year, um, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Please leave a comment, you guys. I love to interact with my um, followers. And please like, dislike, however you feel about this video. Um, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I load another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be blessed.